Your radio, over. 107.5 DCRX. Right, speaks clear and listen. This is 107.5 DCRX. Fair, fair news, fair views. Now signing off. Open standard time is 12:12 noon. Good afternoon, Zamboanga de Sur. Good afternoon, Pagadi and Broadcasting live here at Zamboanga de Sur Provincial Government College. I am DJ Angel. And I am DJ EA. Bringing you the hottest news for this afternoon. For the headlines. Senator Duco proposed full scholarship for nursing student. Tropical depression might be likely to weaken on way to Philippines. Uh, sorry sir, if I may interrupt. Uh, how about yung mag-offer po kayo ng full scholarship program sa mga nurses sa mga iba't ibang uh, skwelahan, mga probinsya, full scholarship po. Yeah. And then, nandun yung condition is na uh, kapag ikaw na graduate, you must serve at least yeah. four to five years uh, uh, yeah. bilang nurse dito sa ating Pilip Bansa. After na serve mo yung five years, it's up to you kung gusto nang pumunta ng uh, mag-abroad. Pero for the meantime, dapat magsilbi ka muna ng limang taon dito. And then, if you keep doing that, that cycle, at least mami maintain natin ang maraming nurses sa ating hospital. Senator Rafi Tupo proposed on Tuesday the prevention of a full scholarship for nursing student subject to a condition. Nursing student will receive full scholarship provided they will serve the country for four to five years after graduation. How about offering full scholarship program for nurses in different schools and provinces? TOEFL asked Philippine Heart Center Executive Director Dr. Jewel Abanilla during the Senate Committee on Health and Demography hearing. Full scholarship and there is a condition that after you graduate, you must serve at least four to five years as a nurse in our country. Abanilla replied that legislation would be needed for the Senator's suggestion. TOEFL and Senator Christopher Goethe, chairperson of the panel, expressed support for such legislation. Senator learned that nurses in government hospitals earn around 34,000 to 36,000 per month, lower than foreign nation could offer. Tofu lamented that nurses are overworked serving more patients than the ideal 4.1 ratio or 4 patients to one nurse. Tropical depression Mai Mai is expected to weaken as its landfall in central Luzon, the weather bureau said early Wednesday. In its 5 a.m., Weather bulletin Pag Asa said Mai Mai was last sighted at 305 km east of Baler Aurora, packing maximum sustained winds of 45 km near the center with 55 km per hour gust. The agency projected Mai Mai will continue to move slowly westward or remain almost stationary before it moves toward the eastern coast of central Luzon on Wednesday. Mai Mai is forecast to weaken into a low pressure as it approaches the landmass, Pag Asa said. The agency raised tropical cyclone wind signal number one over the following areas for 39 to 61 km per hour winds and intermittent rains are expected within 36 hours. The area are Isabella, Carino, Nueva Vizcaya, Aurora, Nueva Ixia, extreme northern portion of Quezon, General Nakar, Infanta, including Pulilo Islands. Pagasa said that on Wednesday, moderate to heavy with a time intense rains will fall in Cagayan and Isabella will lie to moderate with the time heavy rains will be expected in Aurora. For the recap for today's hottest news, Senator Tupo proposed full scholarship for nursing students. Tropical depression might be likely to be get on way to Philippines. And this is 107.5 DCRX. See you again next step for the 3 minutes of News, news with, with No Bias, bias exposed. exposed. Your radio, over.